Hello, my name is Lizzie Kaplan, and I feel confused about being Conan O'Brien's friend. Okay. Yeah. That sounded honest. It was. Uh, your confusion. Let's talk about your confusion first. I'm confused because I was under the impression that we already were kind of friends. So. No, I thought we were too, and then I checked the paperwork. Mm. No. Oh. We never got to friend status. <laughs> right. You saw that I just forged like a cat paw print instead of my name in the paperwork. <laughs> well, uh, yes, we should disclose that uh, we have been friendly for uh, a number of years. Friendly. And, uh, um, yeah, yeah, very friendly, I think. And I have dined uh, in uh, recently mm -hmm. with you and your just incredible husband yeah. who um, enrages me yeah. with his talent and good looks. Yeah, he's both those things. Yes, and he can tell, too. Yeah. He feels pity for me. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we also had a really good time. We hung out in England. I was there to interview Ricky Gervais, and you were living there at the time with yep. Tom. And you guys joined up with me, and we ended up having um, Guinness... Uh, in a real pub in the northern part of London, I think. Yeah. And you ordered a scotch egg. I'll yes, never forget I that. Did. Yes. And I thought, what's a scotch egg? Because you, I romanticize when people live in a foreign country, that's always something I dream about. So you come into the pub, you're nice enough to meet up with me, you guys. You and Tom come in and you sit down and then you just seem to be uh, so comfortable, like you had become British. And you ordered a scotch egg, which I didn't even know what a scotch egg. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's a. Isn't an egg wrapped in sausage and then fried? That's correct. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've had a scotch quail's egg before. Oh, dainty. <laughs> I I knew to turn to Gorley for this because if there's something, anything slightly, <laughs> give me English Anglican. and make it dainty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can tell that you romanticized it because you just called it like a real pub. Just a pub. Yeah, I know They're it was everywhere. a pub. I know, I know. But I get very, uh, I'm nerdy in a lot of ways. But one of my things when I was in, when I'm walking around in London, I just keep thinking I'm in London. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm in a pub in London. Same. I'll have a Guinness. I'm drinking the Guinness in London. <laughs> I'm wearing a tweed cap. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I'm so self-conscious. I, I feel like that all the time about everything. And only recently do I feel like I'm shedding that thing, like that I'm not doing commentary about the normal things that people just seem to be doing around me without, you know, thinking too hard about it. Right, right. But we did drink a lot of Guinness that day in the middle of the day. I may have had more. Uh, than you guys. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you maybe. <laughs> Tom was just saying, he's like, you guys... You drink when you're together, like you and I. Yeah. And I don't feel like I drink that much. But when I'm with you, Aww. my best friendly. <laughs> <laughs> then, yeah. I also think, I mean, I could be wrong, but there's something about Guinness that feels like it doesn't count. Like I, if I had, if someone was putting down scotch or anything like that, I'm not big into spirits. But if it's Guinness... I don't know what it is. I don't feel like it counts. It's like a meal. Yeah, it is. If yeah. someone put took a loaf of pumpernickel bread and put it into a paper shredder <laughs> and then let it sit for a couple of months, yeah, <laughs> it's bread soup. It's bread soup, and mm. then you drink it. Yeah. But we had uh, we had a very good time, and I have wanted you to be on the podcast for a long time because, and I say this with uh, just right out, you're one of my favorite people. You really are. You Do are, you say that to everybody that walks in? You know, please, please I said it. answer for I would no, say 25% of the people, but I do feel their sincerity in your voice this time. So I'd put that in the top 5%. Come on. I'm serious. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you're not so sure. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, what, yeah, what do you think? No, I'm kidding. I'm, no, he really sincerely means it. Yeah, yeah and I, 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 uh, I, I, I'm always... And, and the other person, my wife knows it. My wife knows that I have Lizzie Kaplan fever, and she's like, yeah, I get it. I totally get <laughs> Just it. Just the yeah. fact that you two drink together, he, he won't drink with us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, no. Yeah. No. No, no. I take a lot of pills when I'm around <laughs> you, yeah. but That's I true. don't drink. <laughs> but, That's um, just for your hip. <laughs> you can take a pill for your hand. Go wow. on. You can take a pill for anything. <laughs>